In the video today, I'm going to show you how to upload to Instagram from your computer 2020. Let's jump in. Now, over the last year, I have quickly become the guy on YouTube who shows people how to use Instagram on their desktop, laptop and Mac. And that's fine because I'm happy to help. But listen, these things get updated regularly and it's my kind of duty now to update them as time goes on. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it in two different ways. The first way is going to be completely free. And the second way is going to be paid. Now, why would I show you a free way of doing this and also a paid way? Well, you see, the free way is great. You can upload photos to your Instagram account, you can resize them and you can do quite a few things that you can do on your mobile. But if you're a really serious Instagrammer and you're an influencer and you use Instagram all the time, then you'll need features like uploading large videos, stories and doing other things like scheduling your posts for the time of the day that most people are viewing. All of this can be done for a couple of dollars a month on the paid account. So first up, I appreciate most of you will want to do it free and that's fine. And I'm going to show you how to do that in just a moment. But before you do, make sure you hit subscribe and the notification bell so that you can watch more videos on social media tips, on photography and video creation in future. Let's jump in, show you how to do it. First step is to open up your browser. In my case, that's Google Chrome. So when you've done that, you want to type in windowed, not windows as in Microsoft windows, but windowed with an ED at the end. When you've done that, just simply scroll and choose the first option. Click on it and then this is going to open up. Okay. So this is the very best program, which I have found. It's completely free, open source, so there's no extra payments or anything like that. You can use it free forever. What you want to do is click this download box shown right here, and then you've got your download options. You can either use Mac if you're a Mac user to download, or you can use Windows if you're a Windows user. Pretty self-explanatory. Now I'm a Windows user, so I would click on this, and then this would download on my computer right here. Now I've already downloaded this to test it out to make sure it works well. So what I'm going to do in this instance is I'm going to minimize this page and then I'm going to show you the icon. This icon will show on your desktop. Double click it and then this will open up Instagram. Now you're going to need to put in your details because they won't have them saved. So just type in your details and then click continue as your name. And here we go. You're now on Instagram. You can see here that it defaults to the home page and you've got beautiful, big, glossy, vibrant pictures that Instagram's known for, just like you do on your mobile phone. Now, you can use your profile. You can go on there. If so, just click here. You can check out your profile. You can look at all your lovely pictures that you've got saved on there. Really, it's almost identical to what you experience on your mobile phone. I think that's why I love it so much. But if you want to add the photo, like the video is about, just click on this plus sign, and then this is going to open up the folder on your computer. Choose your relevant photo, and then click open. This is then going to load onto your Instagram app. Then what you need to do is resize it, and then if you want to add filters, you can. Just click on the filter section, just like you experience on your mobile, or click next. Then you have the area which you can add in the description and your hashtags, location, and of course you can tag people. It really is just like you would experience on your mobile phone. When you've done that, click share, and this will be loaded onto your profile and to the homepage. Okay, so if you're more serious with your Instagram account and you want to post videos, you want to do stories on your computer and you want to do captions, highlights, all kinds of things, then you can do this using the paid account. Now, I use Lately Social because it's brilliant. It's brilliant for a lot of reasons. You can actually use it for all of your social media accounts. 
So just type in Lately Social, click on the first option that pops up, and then you're going to get the option to sign up for free today. Now just start by signing up for free today, and then this will give you a free trial if you want it, so you get a bit of time free before you actually have to pay for it. And then what you can do, as soon as you've signed up and put your details in, you will then be directed to a dashboard or you'll at least have the option to come back and click on the dashboard. Now I'm already signed up to this, so I'm gonna show you what you see as soon as you've put your email in and a few of your details. So you'll see that you land on this page when you're signed up. Now the reason it's so good Lately Social is because you can use it on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Twitter, and YouTube. So if you're looking for something to use for your whole social media content, then this is a great program for it. And I think it costs at the moment about seven or nine dollars a month. And if you pay yearly, it's super cheap. And it works out about five dollars a month. So guys, let's show you how to quickly use this. First thing you'll need to do is go onto account manager and here, you will be able to add in your account. You have to choose which social media um, content you want to add your account to. And I'm just going to show you how to do it to Instagram for this video. So just click on the plus, and then you'll have the option to put in your Instagram username, not your email, even though my, my email's in here for some reason, and then also a Instagram password for your account. Now don't worry, all of this information is very much secure. No one's gonna hack you and you're not gonna have any problems. Now if you do have any worries about this, let's just quickly click off. You can go over to Lately Social and you can have a look, look at the FAQs. Now these are the frequently asked questions. You can find out how to use Lately Social if you want to, there's a few videos there. But this is gonna show you that if you put in your details where I just showed you a minute ago, you're gonna get a security code from Instagram when adding your account. Now it's important that you go to this security code which is sent to Instagram to confirm that it's you. Now you can do this, it will be sent to your email or your phone. So just remember that because you'll want to confirm that so that you can actually add your account to Lady Social. Now if you wanna change it at any point, you can do that just clicking on this link here. So let's just click out of this and then take you back to the area. So you've added your account, you've got your security code, and then you've logged in adding your account here. Now, you have the option, of course, which you'll want to learn how to do, to post a photo or a video, which you can do here. You can also do that on your other social media accounts. It's really simply laid out for you here. Click on your account, which will then show up there. And then you have the option to upload photos, upload to your story, upload to IGTV, or upload multiple photos via a carousel. You can also upload large videos here as well. Where do you find them? Well, you can click on File Manager, or you can just upload from your computer, Dropbox, or also Google Drive. Let's just grab any old picture from my computer, and then I'll show you that you can just click on this, open it, and this will very fastly load. Now your picture shows here, which you've uploaded. What you wanna do, obviously, is stick in a little caption, which will tell you, you know, uh, this is a bathroom. I'm obviously not gonna add this to my Instagram account. And then you would add below your hashtags like you would on your mobile. So bath, bathroom, bathroom style. Okay, when you've done this, what you can do now is schedule your post. And this is brilliant if you're looking to get your post out to the most people at a certain time of the day. So click on schedule, and then you can change the time post here very simply by clicking. Choose your date. You can go forward or backwards with your date here if you want to. Change the year or the month. Click on the date that you want. Click OK, and then you can change the time to actually do the time which your post is scheduled for. So all you need to do here is click on the time. So let's say six o'clock, which is a pretty good time. So that's 18, six o'clock, click OK, and then choose this here, which I'll put up to zero, and then we're all scheduled in for six o'clock. Click OK. And in this case, I'm just gonna repeat frequency once because I might wanna change it. And then you can just change the time to end at the same time as it starts. So it uploads 
at that time. Now, the next option before you click schedule post is advance option. Now, this is really good because you can enter in your location and you can put in comments and captions here. You have also the options to add in things like your emojis and to add in saved captions, which you've already put in. So guys, this is a really, really good way of uploading to Instagram, which is of course better than the free account, but not everyone wants to pay seven to nine dollars a month, I understand that. But if you are a serious Instagrammer, then you should definitely check this out. I'll put a link to this in the description of the video where you can pop along there, click on it, and you can probably get around about 20% discount through my account. Now when you're finished and you put all your information in, it's as easy as clicking schedule post and then this post will be scheduled for the time and date that you've added there. You'll then be able to go into schedules here and you can then ski see your schedule posts which will show up on the certain days that you've got here. Okay guys, now if you'd like to know how to actually use Lately Social in more depth, then I'd actually be more than happy to actually make a video on this if it's something that you guys are interested in. If that's the case, leave a yes in the comment section of the video and I can make a video showing you how to use this program. And that's how to upload to Instagram via your PC or computer in 2020. Really simple and hopefully everyone should be walking away from this video with at least one way to actually do this now in future. Remember guys to subscribe and then hit that notification bell so in future you get notified of more videos like this, also videos about photography and video creation. Whatever you do for the rest of the day guys, make sure it's a good one and I'll see you in the next video.